Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Power Egg from Power Vision. To check out the unboxing and setup, be sure to watch our previous video. And to keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. So before we go flying, we want to make sure we've got a solid GPS lock. Now like most modern drones, the Power Egg has a multi-band GPS receiver. However, it receives GPS, the American system, and Baidu, the Chinese system. Baidu is primarily a regional system built around the Chinese homeland, although they are expanding it to be a global network. Consequently, you may have a little more trouble getting enough satellites to fly than you're used to. This can especially be an issue if you're flying in easy mode, which requires quite a few satellites to lock on successfully. This aircraft has three flight modes. Easy control mode. Easy mode establishes a protective bubble around you, the pilot, and it won't let the aircraft come any closer than about 30 feet. The aircraft has entered protected circle. Please move outside of the circle. It also puts a geofence out in the distance so the aircraft can't get too far away from you. Normal. Easy control mode. Normal. Normal mode is the equivalent of P mode in DJI products. It essentially gives you unlimited control of the aircraft, however it does maintain GPS position hold, which works pretty well in most cases. Manual. Finally, there's professional mode. This disables GPS hold, so if there's any wind in the environment, your drone is going to drift with it and you're going to need to compensate manually. Now that we understand the different control modes, we're ready to go flying. To start the motors, push both sticks down and into the center. And then push up gradually on the left stick to make it fly. You'll see that the landing gear retracts all on its own once you're a few feet off the ground. And the same works for reverse when you come in for a landing. They deploy automatically. Okay, so I love the egg shape. I mean, it just really looks cool as it's flying around in the air. And this is a fun aircraft to fly. It's deceptively fast. You sort of expect it to sort of, you know, float along. I guess it's probably because it's all bulbous looking. But when you full stick over, it can really move and it gets away from you pretty quick. So be ready for that. But it's fun to fly. That's the upside. Now, one thing is that it's completely symmetrical. I mean, the front, the back, the sides, they all look the same. Now, it does have orientation lights built in, the red point forward and the rear lights change color depending on which flight mode you're in. The problem is much beyond 100 feet, you can't really see those anymore. So either keep it close to you or get really comfortable determining the aircraft orientation using alternative means, uh, such as reading which direction it's flying. Still, <laughs> it's fun and that egg shape is just unbeatable. One thing I've noticed is if you give it a gentle input on the right stick, either a pitch or a roll command, you'll notice it rises just slightly. Now this isn't technically speaking a problem, it's just a characteristic of the aircraft, but one thing I've noticed is it can sometimes throw off your orientation. You think it's doing something you don't want it to do because of that sort of unanticipated movement. So be sure you're ready for that. But overall, I like it. This is a fun aircraft to fly and it really moves. So one thing I noticed that I wasn't expecting is that after I put about four batteries through the aircraft, the battery inside the radio was down to about 25%. So you might want to keep that in mind when you're planning a day of flying. Now let's take a look at some video from onboard the aircraft. And as you can see, the gimbal does a good job stabilizing the image. It allows you to pitch down to nadir and can yaw nearly 360 degrees. It's not quite as good as the unique Typhoon H, but it's better than most of the base level DJI platforms. If the camera's tilted up, you can see parts of the aircraft during aggressive maneuvering. So here's our flight endurance test, and you should be aware that we conducted this when it was in the mid 30s outside, and that is certainly cold enough to affect battery performance. So I'd say you could safely add a couple of minutes to these results if you're flying in warmer weather. So that was our look at the Power Egg from Power Vision. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.